current Open Meetings Act is available at the back of the room where it's accessible to the public. Weiss? Here. Sisson? Here. Layton? Here. Harrington? Here. Buker? Here. Johnson? Here. Smith? Here. Thank you. If you could please all rise for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'd like to welcome all of you. Item one is consent agenda. Approve this agenda to pay the claims that sum submitted. Corey Weeks, Samuel Harrington. Sisson. Yes. Layton. Yes. Harrington. Yes. Buker. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Smith. Yes. Weeks. Yes. Thank you. Approve. Item two. Approve the minutes of November 15th, 2020. 22 regular council meeting. My councilman Sisson had a correction here during a public forum. We didn't have a public forum last time. It was open discussion. Uh, so with that amendment, we need a motion to approve. I'll make that motion to approve it with that correction. Mike Sisson approved yes. and Tramp Cooper. Layton. Yes. Harrington? Yes. Euchre? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Smith? Abstain. Weiss? Yes. Sisson? Yes. Motion carried. Item three is public forum. Somebody wants to bring something to the council's attention that is not on the agenda. Now is the time and the place for a public forum. I will close the public forum then. <coughs> Before we do old council adjourn Sendai, I'd like to ask Mike Sisson if he has any comments before he retires after eight years. Mr. Mayor, I do have a couple things I'd like to say. I, you know, most of the guys here know that I don't really talk a lot, but uh, I had a one-minute speech and I had a 20-minute speech and I was trying to think which one would, would they like to hear. <laughs> so I decided on the one-minute speech. Um, since tonight is going to be my last meeting that, on the council, I uh, wanted to say a few words to reflect on my time being here for the last eight years. And uh, first off, I've been serving on the safety committee um, and working with the police force and the fire department. and. I've worked with three different police chiefs and finished with uh, Chief McIntyre and and I want to thank all the officers and the dispatchers and hearing their ideas while we've been on that committee. It's been a it's been great to hear those. Uh, we've also worked with the Holders Fire Department and I can see what uh, being a volunteer is all about. I uh, those guys are they go up above and beyond what they do and I appreciate that. And uh, secondly, I'd like to uh, let everybody know I was proud to be on this council and, and be part of a lot of the new things that have come to Holdridge. And I believe all of us will agree that we want what's best for Holdridge, Holdridge and continue to see it grow. And lastly, I want to thank all my fellow council members and uh, city staff. It was my pleasure working with all of you and being part of a community that we can all be proud of. That's all I got to say. Thanks for serving for your eight years. Appreciate doing that. Now, another two years, you're going to have to find someone else to run against. <laughs> <laughs> but, and Mike too. Mike Lake. You had a short. You're a short tar timer. Short timer. And so am I. Well, Mr. Mayor, I want to thank you and the council for allowing me to be here for the last couple of months. Uh, it's been an interesting journey. I've learned a lot in just two months, so thank you very much for allowing me to do this. Good to have you on board. 
I've got a lot of people to thank. Just a minute before you thank them. On behalf of the city council, the city staff, and the city of Holders, we'd like to present you with this plaque for your uh, mayor extraordinaire. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're going to do that, if you're going to do that, Mr. Chisson, get up here. <laughs> On behalf of Mayor, Council, Staff, Administration, thank you for your eight years of faithful service. So, we do have a lawyer in case. You look very nice. Okay, thank you. Come up with merit extraordinary. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. With that, I got my timer. Sid I. This the old council is out of here. Good luck. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. Awesome. <laughs> you gonna take the hammer with it? <laughs> okay, I was wondering why I wanted it in here. I thought maybe I broke the last one. in the 2022 general election as certified by the clerk of Phillips County, Nebraska for the de declaration of their sworn oath of office. The elected officers of the city of Holdridge are for the mayor of the city of Holdridge, Jim Lifford, for member of city council ward two, Lola Tiller, for the member of city council ward three, Ben Johnson, and for member of city council ward four, Trent Fuker. Please raise your right hands and read your oath out loud, repeating after me. I state your name, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Nebraska against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I, I James do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, States and, and the Constitution of the State of Nebraska, Nebraska against, against all enemies, foreign and domestic. domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely and without mental reservation or for the purpose of evasion. That, that I will bear, bear true faith, faith and allegiance to the same, same that, that I take, take this obligation freely and without mental, mental reservation or for the purpose of evasion and that I will faithfully and impartially perform the duties of state your office according to the law and to the best of my ability. 
and that I will faithfully and impartially perform the duties of the office of council member according to the law and to the best of my ability. And I do further swear that I do not advocate nor am I a member of any political party or organization that advocates the overthrow of the government of the United States or of this state by force or violence. And I do further swear that I do not advocate nor am I a member of any political party or organization that advocates the overthrow of the government of the United States or of this state by force or violence. And that during such time as I am in this position, I will not advocate nor become a member of any political party or organization that advocates the overthrow of the government of the United States or of this state by force or violence. So help me God. And that during such time as I am in this position, I will not advocate nor become a member of any political party or organization that advocates the overthrow of the government of the United States or of this state by force or violence. So help me God. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Agenda item number seven, election of council president. I'd like to nominate Ben Johnson for council president. I'll second that. Fuker uh, nominates Ben Johnson. Nick. <laughs> Nick seconded. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, <laughs> exactly. Turn around for a little bit. <laughs> Any other nominations? Ceasing nominations and uh, we take the vote now. Yes. Yeah. The, the motion is for Ben Johnson to serve yes. as the uh, council president. Yes. Do you need someone to make the motion? Or? I I do. No, no, I'll make, make the motion. Or would that be your nominator? I'll make, I'll make that motion. I'll second. Johnson? Upstate. Smith? Yes. Leith? Yes. Teller? Yes. Harrington? Yes. Fuker? Yes. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. <clears throat> Agenda item eight, appoint council members, or uh, appointment of council members to standing committees. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I think we we had a few changes this year. Um, myself and Trent are going to do admin committee. Um, Larry Gibbons is going to stay on the municipality. Yep. He's going to stay there, and uh, Nick is going to move to Brian's department. What's that one called? Utilities. 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 I always yep. Both those mixed up. That was who's moving. Nick, Nick is moving to utilities, and then Corey is going to move to safety. And Lola, we're going to have you at uh, municipalities. Mm -hmm. If 
I didn't speak with you. You're all right with that? Sure. Okay. And then we'll deal with the opening when it, when we deal with that. Okay. Dale. Uh, Dale. Dale. Oh, I didn't do that. Yeah, Dale is going to safety. stay on safety. Sorry, Dale. Do we need a motion to I would, yeah, motion to approve. <coughs> motion to approve. I'll second. Okay. Tell her? Yes. Given? Oops, oh, sorry. Harrington? Yes. Uker? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Smith? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Agenda number nine, adopt resolution 2022-24, amending the bill's billing schedule for the cost associated with cutting grass and weeds and removing <coughs> education and litter. I believe there was a uh, handout that went with that also. Yeah, Mr. Mayor. Yes, um, sir. What this is, this is a fee schedule for uh, when the police department gives out their tickets or their their notifications that a lawn is over the 12 inches tall and not and and the owners do not respond um, he lets me know gives me the the CR and then we make a work order out and we go do the work where our older um, had not been we haven't done anything to it since 2007 and we were not we were not actually even breaking even we were well below it so after talking with Chris and we looking at some of our pricing we needed up the price to hopefully that it's going to be rather expensive but then this will maybe urge people to mow their own progress yes. and so then we will actually be, be a little bit ahead yeah hopefully yeah. but hopefully we won't have to be doing it. right we're not doing it for a profit it's just trying to cover the at least cover costs correct yes right correct. and maybe be a deterrent Yes, right. <clears throat> okay. Can I say something? Yes. Um, the, um, I spoke with uh, Dane. Uh, I believe the section 6402 is incorrect. It should be 6302. Correct. Is correct. correct? And I had a question also uh, regarding is the cost if uh, a homeowner would to incur these costs, is this per employee that has to show up at the site for that job? Correct. Per employee, Correct. and then this is per cleanup. Correct. I mean, each each yeah, there, incident. Yeah, there's sometimes we've had to mow a property four or five times throughout the summer. And each one of these rates is per hour. <laughs> okay. Really nice and simple. That's the minimum. Yes. Yeah. Any further questions? Do you, do you need to change it or can we still Just to adopt it? As amended, if you want. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve it. I'll second. As amended. Okay, I'll second. Yeah. Good. Smith? Yes. Please? Yes. Keller? Yes. Harrington? Yes. Uker? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> Item 10, and we are open discussion. So we get to start, and I will start to my left. Council? Nothing from me. Thank you. Um, just welcome to the to Mr. Mayor and Loa. And like I said, if you have questions, don't hesitate to let me know. And we'll all work together. All right. Thank you. Same thing. Welcome, and let me know if you need anything. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Corey? Uh, I, same thing. I, I guess Mike and Mike and Mike. 
group. Um, but again, I want to thank them for their years of service. Mayor Doug, uh, thank you for putting up with us new council members from the beginning. And uh, you'll be missed. Lola, welcome aboard. And Mayor, sorry. Thank you. I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> he was waiting for you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Lola. Uh, well, again, uh, Mayor and Mike back there, I'm sure your service is definitely appreciated. Thank you. And uh, it's just, uh, thank you for welcoming me. I'm looking forward to learning, looking forward to uh, um, offering what I can and uh, help me out. Well, I'll, you'll, you'll definitely hear from me because I ask questions. So. <laughs> thank you. Dale? Uh, yeah, the, the very, uh, I echo those comments as far as um, our, our past council members, uh, Mike and and Mike and Doug, and, and serving with them, it's it's been uh, uh, an honor to do that, and honor to serve the uh, community this way, and welcome the the new members and you, Mayor. Thank you. And uh, I wish you the best, and and uh, looking forward to uh, making things happen. So, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Same, same. Uh, been an honor, gentlemen. Thank you very much. And Mary Young, thank you for your time. Mike, thank you for filling in. Uh, hopefully we can make that more of a permanent position in the future, maybe. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Sisson, thank you for your eight years. Welcome to all new council members and welcome aboard, Mr. Mayor Lufford. Thank you. Thank you so very much for sticking your neck out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look forward to working with you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, same exact thing. Welcome, Lola. Welcome, Jim. Look forward to it. Uh, Doug, appreciate the help you gave me when I came. Uh, same with Mike. He left? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mike and I were on the safety committee for two years, and it really felt like we kind of got quite a bit accomplished there, so he did a real good job for the city there also. Uh, Mike? Thank you for your time. Thanks for filling in. Um, if we see you again, great. Uh, other than that, uh, the only other thing I have is uh, we got a fairly new crew here. Um, a lot of us are have a lot less experience than a lot of the other people. So uh, let's just work on our communication and uh, again get get the idea out to the public. If they need something or they have concerns. That's what we're here for. But I encourage them to reach out to you individually, and uh, and let's see if we can get some more good things done this coming year. Excellent. Yeah. Welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> I won't go through it all again. But, um, as he said, yeah, um, we're still new. Thanks, you guys, for putting up with some of us new ones. Didn't know Ben. Thank you, actually. Thank you. I'm not leaving, but I asked a lot of questions. Um, welcome. Learn that. Yep. <coughs> good. Thank you. Chris? Um, currently, there's traffic study going on this week on 18th and Burlington, so drive that intersection a lot. Right. Okay. Yes. So they'll help right. encourage maybe them to lower the speed limit and maybe a traffic signal in that area. Yeah. The uh, traffic signal, yes. Um, and the speed, uh, the speed trailer that they had sitting there, I talked to Chief McIntyre. He said that really helped a lot, slowing the traffic down. So um, we'll probably write up something and send that into the state, and they will hopefully we'll get a permanent speed indicator there that'll flash when they're above the speed limit. Uh, that's what they kind of indicated. If it, if we thought it helped, they would do that. So that's where we'll move for that in the future. Um, the league conference will be February 27th and 28th. It's a Monday, Tuesday. It's usually all day Monday, half day Tuesday. So if you think you could get that in your schedule, let us know, let Dane know, and, and then we can, when they uh, announce it, then that way we can get rooms booked. Um, at the at the corn husker or wherever they're having it. I think it's gonna be back at the corn husker again. So very worthwhile. Yeah. And then, then this one's a really good one, especially for new people to attend. It's got a lot of a lot of things on the do's and the don'ts and and talk to people that have been there. You know, you've got a lot of people that have been there for a long time. So kind of knows what's going on. And I'd like to thank Mayor Young and Mike and Mike for everything and the service they've done and the commitment and Mayor Young, thank you for hiring me. I appreciate that. So, <laughs> well, the best thing I did. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> and thanks for the candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the new members. Thank you. Yeah.
Dean. I would just reiterate everything. Thank you so much for your guys' service and your help and what you do for the community. And uh, welcome forward to the new ones. Look thank forward you. to moving forward. Great. Thank you. Chief. You're a great clerk. Thank you. Thank you. I also re reiterate the same. Thank you guys. I didn't want to be very long, but it was good. So thank you very young for many years. So it's been around for a while, giving me there's lots of support, even for chief. So we want us an officer just starting out. Thank um, you. Congratulations for your new members and mayor and look forward to working with you guys. And if you have any concerns, feel free to contact me. So all on another note, I was able to get a mini grant that saved we got thirty-two or thirty-four and a half hours of overtime that I was able to save. So that was nice. Um, my two uh, officers in the academy will be graduating on the fourteenth. So it'd be nice to get them back. One will just have a couple weeks of get them reoriented and the other one will have about a four month FTO process. So I got two more going in January. So good. Yeah. 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 Well, before we end tonight, uh, briefly, I too would like to thank uh, Doug Young, Mike Sisson, Mike Layton, and also Mary McDermott for their service to the community. I'd also like to thank Doug uh, for his help in the transition. It was very, very, very helpful, and I do appreciate it. As you know, we have an open seat in Ward 1. Uh, if you're interested, if you're watching on, uh, and I think tomorrow will be posted, Dane? Yes. Uh, and if you are interested, contact the city office and ask for Dane, and he'll get the information that you need. And this will be open until the close of business and until Tuesday the 13th. Before we leave, uh, I had a lot of conversation <coughs> leading up to uh, the election, and one of the things that stood out was a young businessman here in town who told me he felt that this community had a lot of potential. I agree, it does. So with that, I look forward to working with the council and the city staff uh, for fulfilling that potential. With that, I adjourn the meeting. I should have said that because that's where I look around at it.